everybody doing today? Man, it's a beautiful Sunday morning. Sun is shining. It's already 8.45 and, or 8.47 and it's already in the 80s. So, man, I haven't ridden this bike in a week. I've just been riding my new bike since I've gotten it. And um, I got on this bike and it felt so, you know, it feels different. Seating position is different, everything. It just feels like I haven't sat on it in a while. But it still feels really good. I'm um, coming up on 2,500 miles, like I said. I'm gonna give it a, uh, change the filter and the oil. I'm gonna do that myself. Like I do so on my bikes, pretty much. But today I'm just heading down south a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna head past my old neighborhood. This is the house I used to live where it all started. Where I got my, uh, uh, my scooter at. And I used to keep my bikes inside the house, in my office, next to my desk. Yeah, it was good times, good times. I had three bikes in there at one point. Right, be right before I moved, I bought this bike. And I, uh, had three bikes in my, my little office inside my house. It's crazy. So, things change, things get better. So yeah, um, I should I got the uh, the new bike registered by through a tag agency because my DMV the next appointment you know they're going by appointments was like June first. <laughs> I'm like nah, I can't do that. So just had to go through a tag agency. Got it taken care of. So with that being said, I get my plate on like Tuesday. So I'll be able to venture out of the neighborhood, uh, you know, once I, I get my plate. But it's all good for now. It's all good. Yeah, I'm going to bring some attention to that bike. Not a lot of people uh, know about it, which they should. Because it's when I was taking that thing apart, compared to my, um, my Venom or my, my Venom X22R, uh, the quality is built a lot better um like i said i'm gonna go through a review on all that but uh you know chinese stepping their game up i just uh saw a new bike that came out from csc uh it's a 400 class where it's like a 380 something like that water cooled engine i'm like i haven't seen a chinese with that size engine so that should be cool wave to people even if they don't wave to me but yeah guys it's been um, a great week I got my bike finally and I just you know fell in love with that thing man but today I wanted to ride past and like since I'm going down uh, south uh, pretty much uh, wanted to go past my old neighborhood where I used to ride a lot testing my clutch springs on my scooter testing, testing the mods I do to my 250 uh, even when I first got this bike you know I rode it around there but I didn't take any videos that was the time when um, I pretty much got it and I didn't have a, you know, I didn't make a few, you know, a few videos in a while. Cause I told myself, I'm like, I'll just re reveal it when I move. And that's exactly what happened. So. Yeah, passing over the 95.
So yeah, I used to ride past this gas station a lot. Definitely, uh, you know, <laughs> don't really miss it. <laughs> this parking lot is where I used to um, show, you know, how I looked on the scooter and on the, the 250. My, I got a, I got two 250s now, so I gotta uh, say the X22R. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I lived across the street from a cemetery. Crazy, right? But um, yeah, there's the old, old, old spot. They got some nice slingshots and stuff in front of where I used to live. That was nice. Wow, didn't expect that. So yeah, I used to ride this street a lot. Is it gonna rain? I hope I'm not riding into the, into the rain. That wouldn't be nice. But um, definitely feels different. I was off the of main road, which I hated. I hated living off the of main road, man. I love living in a quiet, nice neighborhood now. That main road stuff is whew, not fun. Especially backing in or driving into your driveway, coming home from work and you just don't feel like it. <sighs> little nostalgia for me even though it hasn't been that long <laughs> it's been though uh, about eight months eight months yeah time does fly but um man that's what's gonna be for a while this is the collection this is the bikes I'm gonna have I'm not getting any more bikes um, unless I sell one and, and get another one that that might happen but uh, I'm not getting any more bikes than what I got now Eventually, I'm gonna get a bigger one, but I don't know. I'm not in the, I'm not in the, any rush for it. So it could be years from now. Who knows? But uh, still gonna be doing a lot of riding and a lot of uh, you know stuff to my to the bikes I currently have. Now my um my X22R, I got uh, I ordered a fairing. I have both. I have the left side fairing now i just ordered a right side fairing where i had a crack because i uh venom motorsports had the right one that's all they have they didn't have both they just had the right one so i'm like perfect i already got the left one so that should work out and um so i'll have both fairings now and um I just want to make, make keep that bike good. That to me is a you know a nice nice little 250. I don't I don't see anyone style anyone you know styled like it. So you know and just like the supermoto I have, I don't see any bike styled like that either. So I try to get bikes where you know they're different. Not too much people have and um, well I get I can't say that with X22R. A lot of people have. But I didn't, ex you know, I got it when I got it. That's pretty much it. So yeah, not going too far. I just make sure, one thing I make sure of is to ride this bike every week. So uh, Sundays, I make sure I get on my, um, my 500. So. One thing I can say though, this torque never gets old, man. So, plenty of torque for the street. That's why I feel like when I'm riding with bigger bikes, I might, you know, I can't get past, you know, 120 with them. I can't do that. But I can get to 100 quick with them. That's why they're never leaving me when I'm getting to 100. You know, and they don't go too much faster than that because this bike has plenty of torque to get to it, so. Um, that's what made me really keep it. Now, if I was every time I was with them, I couldn't just every time they do the little quick spurts and I couldn't keep up, uh, I might just be thinking differently. But you know, it is what it is. But lately, um, I've been riding alone. You know, a lot lately. I haven't ridden with anybody in a while, uh, and I'm kind of cool with that. I guess that's kind of my thing. I like. Uh, you know, going to the beat of my own drum pretty much. So that's why I like to ride alone. That's why I didn't join any MC or anything like that. I don't want to have to, you know, 
<laughs> mandatory to ride or anything like that. I don't want to have to be forced to ride. So, whenever I have time, you know, that's just how it goes. Uh, I'm thinking about adding a switch for my daytime running lights. Sometimes I just want them off, I guess. But, um, you know, we'll see how that goes. So, that'll be another mod I'll add to this bike. A switch somewhere. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a good look at it. Yeah. Uh, I remember riding on this road with my um, my 250. And I don't know what happened. I had to stop on the side. And I accidentally, like, slipped. Like, I got off the bike. I dismounted it. But I didn't put my kickstand down yet. And I, when I was coming, I slipped on a, a rock or something. And, this thing, and it almost fell over on me. It didn't. It didn't. But it took me everything I had at that point at the angle it was at to get it up and um yeah memories <laughs> but yeah it seems like it's been a minute since i've taken a ride out the neighborhood too <laughs> but uh these days and weeks been going by so fast it's like it's going it's you know like three four more days gonna be a week since i had that bike yeah last time i did a video or a video on this bike um you know, I shout out a couple people, but I forgot a couple people. Um, shout out Spork Bike Menace. You know, dude is, is, is uh, got a lot of content. He just got a new bike too. I like to see progression. I just like to watch certain people. Some certain people I just I'll certain people I'll watch, and then certain people I'll watch their whole video straight through. So he's one of the people I watch his video straight through. Sometimes I'll I'll watch some people's video and just skip through certain things. But um, certain people, you know, it is what it is. Everybody has their own preferences, you know. So, and um, yeah, it's one thing I can say is that riding a motorcycle, whether you're with a person or not, but even the YouTube community with riding, they're pretty cool people. You know, I've met a lot of cool people on YouTube, um, you know, that support you just by liking and commenting, you know. That, that to me is, you know, giving you a like, giving you a comment you know yeah we all want subscribers we all want to build as fast as possible but um you know that all comes in time you keep doing what you're doing stay optimistic you know don't watch the next person just it is what it is everybody's gonna grow how they're supposed to grow man everybody you know that's just how it goes oh and shout out to you manny uh sport bike menace again he's like i know a lot about bikes yo i'm learning man youtube is my best friend i would probably watch a lot because, you know, with this bike, I don't really have to do much, you know, as far as engine-wise. Um, I'm really not looking to get more power out of it, you know, so I'm not going to put a power commander or do anything. All the forms told me, you know, if I want to get more power, I'll just get a bigger bike. So, but uh, when it comes to those other bikes and tuning the carburetors, and that's just, it's been over a year now doing that. So I kind of got accustomed to how it's supposed to sound. I was surprised that when I was tuning my other, my new bike, that uh, on my first try, I got it sounding good. I took it for a test ride and it was riding really good. I think the highest I got that bike so far was 61 in my neighborhood. That's just in my neighborhood. I wasn't trying to, pretty sure once I get out the neighborhood, I can get it up a little faster than that. The bore is actually uh, 230 and my, my X22R, the bore set, it says on there is 223. So, you know, once I do my full review, I'll get you guys up to speed on that. But, um, uh, also, I think I'm going to start to, you know, practice wheeling on my, my, my supermoto. And I, I already got it thinking about that, but, you know, I get inspiration too by watching people. And, you know, not to say his name again, but, you know, he just did a video on, on that. So, I'm like, you know what, I need to start practicing too, just because, you know, why not? So, I always give credit where credit is due when it comes to ideas I get and, you know, I feel like when it comes to this moto vlogging thing, there's, I mean, a lot of people have done a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like when it comes to people creating their own content, you got to put your, 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 your little magic touch on it, you know what I'm saying? Everybody is different in their own ways. Some people might find you interesting, some people don't. You know, I watch people sometimes and I'm like, oh, I like him or I don't like them or whatever the case may be so you know that's just how it is 
there's always going to be some form of hate that's that's just life you got to deal with that you know that everything is not always pieces and cream shout out to my old boss he always used to say that to me so yeah things are definitely different from when i started this channel and uh the progression you know i see my progression i see other people when i see other people progress it makes me like okay i need to get on top of my, my my stuff too you know i need to do what i need to do so and like i said that's that's human nature it's only right but yeah just uh, enjoying the ride today and um you know I love being on two wheels, man. There's nothing like it. There really is nothing like it. Like if I don't get a car, another car in my life, I'm fine with that. You know, as long as my wife has a car and I have a work van to work, I don't what I need a car for. You know, if I need to take her out or something, I will drive her car, you know? <laughs> so other than that, and see, she luckily, I mean, eventually she'll probably get a newer car, but she likes old cars. Like, you know, I think the car that I have now that I got her is a 2002 Lexus SC430 um, convertible and it's 2002. I bought it last year. And she's like, that's the car I want. I want it. I'm, uh, I'm like, you know, okay. <laughs> it wasn't that much money. I paid for it and that just is what it is. And as long as she's happy, I'm good. You know, she did, she did ask me for a little SUV though, a little beater to ride around. I'm like, all right. We'll see how that goes, you know. But you know, you gotta work hard. Things, things come. You know, just keep, keep working hard. Like that's, that's always what I'm gonna say to people. Always. You know what? Let me. Let's go downtown a little bit before I head back in. So uh, this is downtown Del Rey. It's a little early, so it's not as lively, but a lot of shops and stuff. People are still out. And, um, you know, just wanted to come see some things. I didn't really plan on coming this far down, but, you know, it is what it is. One thing I will say, man, I love how this bike looks. Like, I, I love how this bike looks. Compared to all the other ones in this class, this to me is the best looking bike in my personal opinion. And that's why looks are subjective. Because, you know, this is to each its own. That's how it goes. So, yeah. Just wanted to get with you guys. Let you guys know, um, you know, I got some updates coming on my, my, my new bike more videos on that and um, I'm still gonna do some stuff to this bike this, like I said there's a couple things I want to get done to it and um, you know that's it but yeah how many of you guys um, I just want to know just a poll uh, let me change that and shout out to uh, Moto Miles too on his new bike. Uh, he's got a Prilia. Man, it looks nice. You know, it looks really nice. You know, one thing I love red. That's my favorite color. So anytime I see a red bike, you know, it catches my eye. But um, yeah, shout out to him. And um, the progression is real, man. I think he started out with the same scooter I had and look where he's at now. Moved up to a 250. I mean, he's past me now. <laughs> But uh, it doesn't matter because I feel like even though he is, it's not like he's going to be a hooligan trying to do, you know, top speeds. And, you know, it's got power. That's the whole point. You know, so it's, got, it's got power to get up there, you know. So, I mean, I'm just judging by how I see him ride, you know. Let me know if I'm right or wrong, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Appreciate you guys. I'm about to hit on this highway. 
get home. This video wasn't meant to be that long today, but I'm always gonna show love to this bike because this is my 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 main one. But man, that that little 250 supermoto bike is becoming a little favorite to me. Um, seating position is definitely different. Like I said, I've never owned a a bike with that type of upright seating position. Um, I feel the wind a lot more, but it feels good, you know, like th that bike is not meant to go as fast as this bike as far as, you know, the aerodynamics and, you know, getting on the highway and stuff like that. I don't think I'm ever going to get a bike that's not uh, fully fairing on the highway, especially without a windscreen or something like that. And that wind, man, is no joke. up a little bit today and I've been seeing a couple videos on this bike well people uh, say if you want to go over a hundred don't get this bike I'm like what this bike goes way well over a hundred you know but like I said it depends on weight definitely depends on weight and um, how you ride to I don't know because like I said, I've gotten this bike up to one, the most I've gotten to is 115, not on camera, but on camera I've gotten it up to 113. So you can check my video. Um, yeah, 113 is the highest I got this bike. And I still had a little to go. So I'm pretty sure I could have got it to one, you know, 17 or something like that. See, I'm at 100 now. My rev light didn't even come on, so we're all good with this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just uh, heading on back home, but yeah, appreciate you guys. I'll be back with the next one. Peace.